Hello there, it's Lindsay. This is a little recording to help those of you that are new to the system and are trying to work out how do I cancel classes if something's come up and you can't make it anymore. So this is how to do it on a computer as opposed to on your phone. I think on the phone it's relatively straightforward, but I'll see if I can provide that for you in a different way. So you go to Gymcatch and it's obviously gymcatch.com forward slash app. That's what you search for. Um, and if you've followed the business it should be easier to find it and more straightforward but anyhow this is the screen that comes up the opening screen so you would go to enhance well-being find the business and there it is underneath that's the logo so we click on it and it immediately comes up with the general screen of oh, okay so these are the classes that Lindsay does and this is what's available at the moment so that's the general screen you can look at the schedule, you can see my, where my um, little finger is there. You can pick packages, you can go to the on-demand. Um, yeah, so you can scroll around and, and find different things. So here we are at the schedule. If you haven't clicked follow, then follow it. Hit that pink button there in the middle. And then the way to cancel a class is, first of all, you've got to go in as you, because at the moment this is just a general um, information page for everybody in the world. <laughs> but you've got to log in top right and there's my details so I'll click login and underneath it's now showing the information that's personal to me so you can see I could look at my packages on the menu here in the middle I could look at on demand I can change my contact information but here's my schedule and there's little green ticks on the calendar look where I've actually booked a class and if I wanted to see that in more detail, I could scroll down underneath and go, OK, so there's a little green tick on Thursday the 20th on the left there. Can you see? That means I've booked that class. So there's different ways of going into it. I could click on the details and cancel it there. I could click on the calendar at the top and cancel it there. Um, I can also go into my profile at the top here and click on purchases so this is giving my information personal to me if I click on things that I've purchased you can see you can find it in there as well so there's different places that you can find it in and you would click on the details and it would say manage bookings and that's where you cancel it I'm just going to go back if my screen will allow me to bear with me so there's me, back to Lindsay Jackson at the top. You can see I'm logged in. That's what you would do. You'd be logged in. I can click on Thursday the 20th. I've booked a class then. And if I click on it, it brings it to the top here. I go to the class details on the right in pink. And it says you're booked onto this session. Manage bookings. Yes, please. Cancel booking. Yes, please. and then no bookings are found because it's been cancelled. So that's it, and if I now look at my schedule again, so if I go back to my, just click on the word schedule, you can see now that the green tick has gone, and that the green tick has gone from the picture. So if I thought, oh, actually I've cancelled the wrong one, I could go back and book it again. So that's how you cancel um, something that you uh, you think actually I can't make it anymore if that's done within the terms of your membership so you're a 39 week person or a 52 week person then as long as you've done that 24 hours before it goes back onto your credits and so you'll be able to take that class another time a way to look at that just briefly is to go to your packages here second tab along and you can see the packages that are available if I want to go to my profile and think, well, what have I got left? Then I click on here, Lindsay Jackson, and purchases, and the things I've bought here, bookings, well, there's no bookings because I've cancelled them, but what, what are the purchases that I've made? Any courses, any resources? Well, I go to my packages, and you'll see that whatever live packages you've got are here, 11 credits remaining, 75 days left. So that's where you'd be able to see that the cancelled class had been added onto your credits, but that happens automatically for you.
hope that makes sense and um, helps you to navigate the system a little bit. If I want to go back to Jim Catch from here, um, I can go back to Jim Catch and then click on the provider again and I'm back in. Okie dokie. Hope that helps. Bye for now.